I've been in Oregon for eight years. What brought me into Oregon was my family. The whole plan was to uh, get away from the, the violence and from Los Angeles, but instead I, I kind of felt like I was free to do whatever I want up here because it was so nice and peaceful. I got caught up by the police and I got on probation because I was selling drugs. I first met Jason when he joined us um, uh, in our Chai program. The Chai program is the Community Healing Initiative and it's a program that works with adjudicated and high-risk youth in our community and pairs them with a care manager. The start of the, the Latino network, uh, them trying to help me, I wasn't really accepting the help because I thought I knew everything. I thought I was going to figure everything out myself. I thought I was going to make all the money I needed selling drugs because I, even though I was on probation, I was still doing selling drugs, selling dope, doing whatever I had to do because I thought that's what I was supposed to do. And um, they referred me to Rydell. I started working with the family. I started working with him individually, family sessions. I met him in the street. I met him in detention. I took him to uh, meetings. I took him to um, jobs, school. I want, I want you to, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm going to be your best nightmare. It's kind of funny because he always said I had potential and somehow he's seen something that I, I never thought I did. And now that I think about it, I think he, he's seen ahead of time or something and seen that I was going to be here helping, helping other people or something. It takes time to, you know, engage with these kids and, and, and makes uh, them to trust you. But they just like, just gave me the time to catch myself before it was too late. And I don't know if they knew that if that was going to happen, to catch, if I was going to catch myself or not, but I, I would like to do something like that, you know, for other kids. I see myself working with, with other people, with society. That's what I see myself doing. I think Rydell is the perfect match for him, and they're able to talk um, about plans for his business, and um, he's seeing his future. I go out to the waterfront and, or other parks and go sell paletas, you know, popsicles, the Mexican popsicles, and the way I talk, and that's the way I used to talk to other people. Hey, check this out, I got the best popsicle in town. <laughs> I don't feel like I have to survive. I feel like I can just continue to build up upon what I have built on.